So today we're going to talk about tail light circuit boards and how to test them. This comes up a lot. Um, the following tests are going to be on the left circuit board. Uh, the right one is exactly the same. The only difference is, is that the turn signal wire is a different color, and but everything else will be the same. So to start, I'm going to take out these two screws. So here's the connector. I also have this handy schematic of the connector. When they show you schematics like that, they're showing it to you from this end. So we're going to follow that and do the test. Like in my last video, if I was to shove a standard test light lead down into here, I'm going to spread them things apart. It's going to fuck them up. What I use is a T-pin. You can also substitute a paper clip if you're in a pinch. And then when I do the test, I back probe them like this. I just stick the pin at from behind. I won't do any damage and I can test the circuit properly. So for this, I'm going to hook my 12 volt test light up to a ground. This trailblazer conveniently has a second battery in the back and I can make my connection there. <laughs> Most trailblazers won't have a second or even a third battery. So you might have to find a good ground. There's some underneath the truck on the frame. I'm going to back probe this first pin right here. It's the brown wire. I have my 12 volt test light hooked up to, hooked up to ground. Go ahead and turn the headlights on. on. Turn them off. On. on. Off. So that was testing the park light signal. Next pin over is light blue. Back probe that guy. 12 volt test light hooked up. We'll go ahead and turn the left turn signal on with the key on. So we know we've got turn signal signal there. Okay. Our next pin over is reverse. I might as well just show you this anyway. This is only on the Trailblazer and um, the Bravada. You want to put your foot on the brake and then shift it into reverse. Okay. Back in the park. You almost ran me over. Sorry. The next one over is light blue. Go ahead and step on the brake. Off. On off. So you can see the test light lights up there. And our last one is the ground. Now ideally what you want to do is hook up your 12 volt test light to battery positive. Like I said, I have a battery right here. It's pretty convenient. And it should light up all the time. So I have ground there. So we've tested all the inputs into the circuit board. Now we're going to test the outputs to the bulbs on the other side. Now on this one, it has a number two Phillips screws. I just did one in 06, I think, and it had T10 Torx screws here. T10 or T15, I forget. So your trailblazer might be a little bit different. So here's the glorified circuit board. I have the LED reverse lights. And you can see mine's seen better days. Looks like a little bit of heat got in there, melted some shit, but everything's still functional. So I'm going to put my test light probe or ground my test light at the negative battery again. And we're going to do the same test as before, except I'm going to show you which terminals light up the test light. 
So again, 12 volt test light hooked up to ground. Okay, go ahead and turn the parking lights on. They're on. Turn them off. On. Off. So you can see that the bottom right pin gets 12 volts with the parking lights on. So now we're going to do the same thing up here on the top right tab. Go ahead and hit the brake light. Off. On. Off. So now we know that we have power here too. We're going to go down to the second one down here. We're going to turn the left turn signal on. Now it's going to flash fast because there's no bulb in there. But we know we have power there. And again, we do the same thing with the reverse light, but we're not really going to show that. So the last thing to do, you can go ahead and turn everything off. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to hook our test light back up to positive battery. And we're going to probe the left side here, ground. Left side here should be ground. And the left side here should be ground also. So we now we've tested the turn signal circuit, the park light circuit, and the brake light circuit right back here at the circuit board on both sides. So using you know a paper clip and a simple 12 volt test light, we were able to test all those circuits. Um, really what it comes down to is if one of the bulbs in here isn't working, you've swapped in a new bulb, it still doesn't work, that's what you would do next. If you didn't have your power on one of these circuits, and you either have the brakes or turn signal or parking lights on, then you know you have a problem upstream of this. If you have it here and they still don't work, you've got something up with the circuit board. Now using the test procedures that I showed, you could put your meter in and back probe this pin here and do continuity test, you know, at the corresponding pin just to confirm that you have a bad circuit board. Well, damn, I guess this also turned into how to change the bulb too. So, we might as well do that the right way too, I guess. I'm going to take a little bit of dielectric grease. I'm just going to rub it on the contacts here. Same thing here. Just a little bit of grease. A little bit of grease. And then I'm going to make do the test right now. Ready? Yep. Park lights? Yep. Yep. Yes. Cool. Yeah, there was one other thing I had to add. Yeah. Pin number two, where we had light blue and we were doing the left turn signal test, it would be dark blue on the other tail light. And then you would use the right turn signal. But all the other tests are the same. And here's the schematic of everything back here. Check it out. I'm data from Star Trek. Captain, our sensors indicate that some Hitachi on YouTube is putting up videos which take four fucking minutes to show you how to take three screws out. <laughs> Remember data, the robot? <laughs> yeah, I got these bad boys. Need another set of donors. We're going to do the quad mod. Quad brakes, quad turns. Oh yeah. 